Today we have to cover Adobe After Effects Basics. Let's do it. What's up everybody, this is Sabir from Doublest Production and welcome back to another excited episode of this channel. It's the week of VFX. And we have to go with the basics of Adobe After Effect for that part. Adobe. What is Adobe After Effect? If there is Premiere Pro, then why we are using Adobe After Effect? Adobe After Effect is digital visual effects, motion graphics, and compositing software. In easy world, Adobe After Effect is the Photoshop of videos, while Adobe Premiere Pro is editing software. Today I'm not feeling well. I'm not in mood. What happened last Friday in New Zealand? More than 50 died in more than 20 injured and still that man is not a terrorist by the way let's back into the tutorial you have full freedom in adobe after effect to play around with your videos if you have watched our short films like uh, sacrifice <laughs> decide and another is coming which is the eagle's grape <laughs> I used 80% of After Effects in it. So let's move into tutorial. Okay, so here we are in Adobe After Effects CC 2015. As this is a basic tutorial, you can go with any version. When you open Adobe After Effects, you will get this window, which is a welcome window. It's the same we got in Adobe Premiere Pro. You can create new composition, you can open your recent project, and also you can get access to the recent item you opened. As I said in my previous tutorial that understanding interface is very important. First, we have to understand the interface of Adobe After Effects. The biggest panel on the screen is Compure, where you will get the final result. To the left side, it's a project panel. Here, this is a timeline. This is effects and presets. This is a preview panel and this is an audio. And the most important one is effect controls. Let's start with the project panel. All the file which is related to project, it will be here. It can be video file, it can be images, it can be audio or something related. But here you will get the project files. The timeline is pretty same with Adobe Premiere Pro. Here you will get your layers and your timeline where you can adjust the timing and where you will apply the adjustment layers and all the stuffs and you will create the final result. In the effects and presets panel, you can get access to any effect you want to apply on your video. Preview panel is just to preview your final result. An audio panel is just for audio purposes. But we will not use these audio panel and this preview panel much around because we will use some hard keys. And as I said before, in this composition panel, you will get the final result. You will see everything here. How to import files to Adobe After Effect? Just go into project panel, double click and you will get access to your explorer and select the files that you want to import and hit import. There are many methods to import files to Adobe After Effects, but this one is the easiest one. You can also drag and drop files to Adobe After Effects. How to create composition? Composition is same like sequence in Adobe Premiere Pro as we discussed in the previous tutorial. To make composition, just drag and drop a video into the timeline to the comp viewer and you will get the composition. Sometimes it is hard to drag a video into timeline or to comp viewer to make another composition. For that reason, you can create composition in other ways. Just drag and drop a footage on this small icon and it will create a new composition for you. Now if I do not want a composition from the video or the image or any other footage file, how I can create a composition for my motion graphic purposes? Just go to composition, click on new composition or the hotkey is control N and here you will get a composition setting. It's just the setting according to your need and hit OK. Now you got a composition without any footage files. Now you can play around and create some stuffs. Now you got an idea that how to import files to Adobe After Effects and how to create composition from those files. Create a new composition and there we got a video. You can play around with the video here in the timeline. And you're in Adobe After Effects, if these things are changed from mine, you can just press F4 or press on this small button here and it will change all the options for you. Just press toggle switch and it will switch to another option. You can also add another footage to the composition. Just drag and drop another footage to the timeline and you will get that here. Now let me give you some basic idea about these things. Here we have toggle switch. You can switch on and switch off any video, any footage in the timeline. If a footage has sound and audio, you can switch off and switch on the audio from here. If you need any layer to be solo on the comp viewer, you can solo it from here. Now this layer is solo on the comp viewer. 
this option is to lock an objects in the timeline or in the composition. I will explain some of the options in another video because these are not related to basics. You will not understand it. This option is for motion blur. If you give animation to your layer in the composition, you can turn on the motion blur here. Now if you need any layer to be 3D in the composition, you can active 3D layer from here. Now this layer is 3D. You see there are three dimensions. The parenting option, I will cover these in tracking. This is not our concern right now. Now if the composition is too much lower than your bunch of files or your computer is slow, you can decrease the resolution from here to half or to third. Depends on the shot you are creating. There are some options which are hidden right now here. To get those options, press F4 on your keyboard or press on this little button here which is toggle switch modes and you will get these options. This is a blending mode. You can change the blending mode to any blending mode you want. For example, I want to change this to add and now the blending mode is changed. I will create another video on blending mode and I will explain blending mode that what is the purpose of blending mode because there are a bunch of blending modes and it's confusing. Let's move into another basic segment which is masking. In VFX creation, masking is very important because if you're compositing something, most of the time you will do masking. Now what is masking? For example, I need only the sun from this shot, I can mask it out. Just go into the masking options here, select the ellipse tool and mask it out. You see only the masked area is visible. You can invert this easily. You can also create multiple masks if you want. Here you will get the properties of the mask. If the mask property is not visible, just click on the layer and press M and you will get only the mask property. To soften the edges of the mask, just increase the feather here and you'll get soft edges of the mask. You can also increase and decrease the expansion of the mask. Here is the mask opacity and here you can animate the mask path. We'll come to animation later. If you want to subtract this area from the footage, you can just change the mode to subtract. And now this area is gone. To delete the mask, just select the mask and press delete. Now if you need a pen tool, you can also use it. By pressing F on the keyboard, only the mask feather will be visible. You can increase or decrease it down. So that was just the basic concept of masking. You can play around with the masking and create some great materials. The next segment is animation. It's very important segment because animation is the most important part in VFX. So how to do animation? For example, I want to move this footage from here to here. So how can I animate that? Just go into this small arrow here, click on it and you will see an option transform. Expand that and there are five options. Position control, the position of the footage the scale control, the size of the footage, and the rotation control, the rotation. And opacity is how much the footage is visible. Now what is anchor point? When I increase the scale or decrease the scale or rotate my footage, there is a specific point from which rotation occur. And that point is called anchor point. This is the sign of anchor point. You can change the anchor point. Just go into pen behind anchor point tool and change this to the sun. Now if I rotate my footage, it will get rotated from that specific point or it will increase or decrease from that specific point. So that was anchor point. To reset everything to default values, just click on reset. But how to make animations? There is small stopwatch with every option and property. When you click on it, it creates a keyframe. Now I want to move it. Just move the cursor here to 2 seconds and move it around. Now what happened? The animation will take place between these two keyframes. From here, the position was this. And when it moves into this keyframe, the position is changed. Everywhere you can create keyframes and do animation. For example, I want to fade out this footage. Just go to opacity, make keyframe, move into 2 seconds and decrease down opacity to 0. Now what happened, the animation is there. If you want to preview this specific shot or this specific segment, just go into the first keyframe here, drag this work area start or the shortcut is B, just move into here drag this work area N, the shortcut is N. Now press numeric 0 in your keyboard. So the shot is rendered and you see it smoothly. You can animate multiple properties like position, scale, rotation simultaneously. So this was the basic concept of animation. Now you can play around with any stopwatch and you can create animations. Let's move into another segment which is applying effects on the footage. So here you can search any effect you want or you can go to effect here and you can search any effect but make sure the layer is selected. Select the layer and just go to effect. I want to color correct it. Just go to color correction and just go to curves here. 
Now you can play around with the curves here and you can apply effects. You see the changes on the preview screen here. You can turn on and off the effects. If you want to apply the effect to the whole composition, you can do it using adjustment layer. Let's do it. To create new adjustment layer, just right click here, new adjustment layer. You can also do it by going to layer, new and adjustment layer. Now whatever you apply on this adjustment layer, it will affect the layers below it. Now if you don't understand the concept of layer, you can watch my video on layers. Okay, let's apply color correction again. Just click on the layer, search the effect that you want to apply, drag it on the layer and there we go. Now it affects the whole composition. Okay, let's go another interesting part which is called tracking. Tracking is a big topic but we have to just go a basic of tracking. Now what is tracking? If you check out this shot, the camera is moving and I need something in the shot. So I have to match move that material and the shot. So how to do that? You need tracking for this. To do tracking, just go to animation and there are a bunch of options for tracking. Track in Mocha AE, track motion and track camera. If your camera is moving in 3 dimension, you should go with the track camera and if the camera is moving only in X direction or Y direction, you can go with the track motion. If you look at this shot, the camera is moving in perspective. It means that the camera is 3 dimensional. Now what I need to do is I have to track the camera. I'm giving you some basic concept of tracking, I will not go into details. Just go into animation, click on track motion and you will get a panel which is related to tracking. So I want to track motion. Click on track motion and you will get these two small boxes. But first you have to think about the shot that what you want to track. You want to track motion, you want to track rotation or you want to track scale. So in this case I need to track scale and position because the camera is moving in forward direction and all the thing that is coming toward the camera is scaling up. So I need position plus scale. Just check this box here and you will get two rectangles. Just search for two contrasted pixel in the shot and target it for the tracking. I want to target this and this. Now there are two boxes. What does it mean? The inside box gives an area to the after effect that track this pixel or these pixel and the outer box give reference to the inside box that search these pixel in this box. Now press the forward track button here and you see the tracking has started. Now my shot is tracked. You can go back here and track backward. Now how to apply this tracking to an object? First you have to create a new null object. Then just go to edit target and target the null object here and hit ok, apply and hit ok. Now the data which has been tracked is applied to the null object here. You see I tracked position and scale and the data is here with me. Now I can parent everything with the null object. I want to parent a text to the null object. Here there is small icon, just drag it and put it on the null one and drop it. Now you see that the parent layer to the text layer is null one. If the null object moves, the text layer will move with it. Just look at it. This is just a basic concept of tracking. Now you can track any shot and you can play around with the shot and you can do a lot of stuff in it. Okay, I cover the basic segments of Adobe After Effect, but I want to save these videos. To render or save the videos, just go to composition and add to render cube. And here you can adjust the setting. For me, I'm going with quick time, format option H264 and hit OK. And there you can give a location where you want to save it. For example, I want to save it here and press render. So these were the basic of Adobe After Effect. Keep in mind that VFX is not only the work of Adobe After Effect. It's just a compositing software. VFX includes many softwares like Cinema 4D, like Houdini. But in the future, I will come up with great VFX tutorials and I hope you will love it. Adobe After Effects not the only software where you can do VFX. VFX is the combination of different softwares like Cinema 4D, Maya, Nuke and a lot more. But we will cover those parts later. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe the channel and I will see you in the next video. आदिप आप ऐसा नहीं कर सकते, just don't do that, मेरी बात सुनो।